Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. If you're sick and you can't get well, tell him what you want. Oh, if you're sick and you can't get well. Tell him what you want. If you're sick and you can't get well, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. If you need your soul saved, Tell him what you want. Oh, if you need your soul saved, tell him what you want. If you need your soul saved, tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want, oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want, call him up, call him up, tell him Call him up and tell him what you want. Amen. 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 Yeah, it's all confusing. It it's going to be here. The, 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 the council, council, our ecclesiastical council. Yeah. yeah, so it'll be here. Uh, pray for us, Sister Jackson, while you up. You. That's right. That's right. That was not just be. Let us look at First Corinthians chapter number three. I'm going to erase this. We know the three mindsets that we have discovered and we adopt on a daily basis. Sister Burgess, I'm going to erase this. This is old. Uh, the carnal mind, the spiritual mind, and the natural mind. In verse 7 through 16, we want to try to look at that today. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 7 through 16. So, yes, you're right. The council will be here and the southern region, back to back, a weekend apart. And what, what day is this? Saturday, the, what is that, 15? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. The tabernacle is broken. The tabernacle is broken that far. Yeah, they gotta take care of that. No, somebody's knocking. First Corinthians chapter number three. I will read it. Then we will have our 
instructional activities, one of the things you want to be able to do today is do word association. Hello. Hello, mother and daughter. All right. Good afternoon. It's morning somewhere. Yeah. Amen. Verse number six says, I planted a pile of water, but God gave the increase. Everybody shout increase. increase. And that's something, a word that we really want to make sure that we have a good understanding with and focus on today. Now, he that planted and he that waters are one. So two words, plant. Everybody say plant. Amen. All right. He that planted and he that watereth are one. So now you have increase, plant and water. So now you have three verbs, Deacon Brown, that you have to focus on in order to unpack the context of this passage. You're going to understand of the planting, we understand of the watering, we understand of the increase part. Everyone shall see, receive his own reward according to his own labor. We are laborers together with God. You are God's husbandry. And that might not be a good translation, of, depending on how you speak. You are God's building. All right, according to the grace. What does verse 9 say in somebody else's Bible? The King James is really worthy. Well, we are God's co-workers. Yeah. Fellow workers, huh? That's God it. Builds. Yeah. God's building. Yeah. So fellow workers. All right. According to the grace which was given unto me, a wise master builder. Paul becomes, I laid a foundation. And another builds thereon, but every man taketh heed how he buildeth thereon. And other foundation, no man can lay that which I also laid, which is in Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon these the foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it because it shall be revealed by fire and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is if any man's work abide which he have built thereupon he shall receive a reward mm -hmm. if any man's work shall be burned yeah he shall suffer loss but he himself shall be saved yet also by fire chapter three know ye that ye are the temple of god and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple are ye? We'll stop there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So you have, what, 6 through 17? Mm -hmm. Is that what we read? First yeah. Corinthians 6 through 17. Right. Chapter 3, verses 6 through 17. Now, there's a, a lot of words that Donna did, the associate and uh, Foundation building, burning, fire, depending uh, God's workers, husbandry, receiving a reward. A lot of things, words you can pull out of this particular passage. One of the things, though, before I even get started, I want to talk about, you know, create a recipe for good leadership. Everybody say recipe. recipe. We want to do that first because... As we get ready to unpack this passage, we need to understand what's in here. A pinch. Uh, what is a tank? Can I say tank? I don't know how to spell tank. Uh, uh, tank. Uh, half a cup. No, not tank. Right. The word really is tank. We couldn't say it, huh? So we're talking about a recipe for leadership, first and foremost. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Y'all must get here today. All right. Look at the leaders that Paul Lorraine identifies in this passage. Of course, in verse 6, him and Apollos. And we always want to do this. Let me do this. Donna, how many places in the Bible, where, where is Apollos mentioned? You need to know that. Where is his mention? Let me just do it. Law of first mention. Can anybody know? I know we're, we're just <coughs> we're moving up. So I don't expect you to have this answer yet. Deacon Wright. What did you say, Lorraine? Yeah, Apollos, right? X. So 
So we got Acts, we got a scripture in Acts, right? Where else was Apollos mentioned? <coughs> Don is looking. Because as we talk about leadership and why Paul said what he said, everything rises and falls on leadership. And we want to know what made Apollos a good leader for the church. And remember, people, a leadership in church doesn't mean you got to be a leader anywhere else. Okay. And because you lead in the world, it'll make you a good leader for church. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, you might have some qualities and characteristics that, 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 uh, that are esteemed and make you very proud and pompous. But leadership in the church requires some other things. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> let's look where Apollos first mentioned the rain. We'll get back to that. He's mentioned here in First Corinthians chapter three, right? Mm -hmm. Where else is he mentioned? Lorraine said Acts. And we'll find out who this Apollos was. Also, First Corinthians chapter what? One. That's what Lorraine. It was mentioned ten times in the Bible. Who? Apollos? Well. Woo! Look at look at Lord! It's all back over there. Ten. Acts 18. 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 Acts First Corinthians. Hold on. First Corinthians. One and twelve. First Corinthians. One and twelve. First Corinthians. Go ahead. Three. Four through seven and twenty-two. Yeah. Four through seven and, and twenty-two. Yeah. And Titus. That's it, Titus. Three and thirteen. Also Acts twenty-seven. Acts chapter twenty-seven. 18 and 27. What was the title scripture? 3 and 13. We good? Who's it? Who's it? Sam? What's going on, Sam? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for cutting the grave. You and your nephew. All right, two, two activities, two things, Burgess, we got to do. First of all, now we got our law first mention. We need to draw. Summarize all of this. Everybody say summarize. summarize. Because we want to know who a policy is. I learned something. I learned something, Sister Jackson, that I never thought about. And I'm going to say this, and this, it has no reflection of Ephesians. But when a church considers pastoral leadership, and I need somebody to answer it, and if you don't have an answer, don't answer. Why do we run three candidates? Why do we why do we run three candidates? No. Yeah, most a lot of churches, not St. Ephesians, but a lot of churches will run three candidates as their top three. I'm gonna listen, listen, and, and that's okay to each his own. Running three as a potential problem for the winner. Because three breaks the time. Three breaks the tie. Okay, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna get into it. If we got, if we got 27 votes, and we divide that by three, that's nine. That's nine. Okay, real simple math. We have 28 votes, still nine with one left over, right? The winner, more people outvoted for the winner than the winner. Right, I see what you're saying. There you go. 18 people voted against, against him, and he won with the nine points. Yeah. Or the 10. So you won with 10 votes. You got you got the majority of the votes, but 18 people voted against you. More people voted against you. They're for you. They're for you, yep. Yeah. But what, the way we did it, then it, it, it makes a big difference because if, if I'm a leader walking in a building and more people voted against me, and for me, that, that's a really tough place to begin leadership when you really didn't get the majority. Yeah. Right. right. And listen, so listen, now, you literally lost by votes because right. more people didn't vote for yeah. you yeah. than voted for you. Yeah. But the people who didn't vote for you may not have known you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That well to vote for yeah. 
Right. Yeah. right. So right. you have to look at it uh, in a different concept, Brother Cass. You, you, can't, no, no. you can't just speak. Oh, okay. It's going to be 50 something people. But I won by three or four votes out of the 50 something people. But there were three or four people that ran. Well, those that ran against you uh, probably were better qualified yes, possibly. than you, yes. possibly. possibly. But uh, it went to the winner, right. the one who carried like that now. The, the, the yeah. majority. Uh -huh. the, this is the majority, though. The majority is 18, not 10. Yeah. The majority is 18. Connie got 10 votes. 18 people didn't vote for her. Right. That shouldn't make her. You really didn't win. You, you didn't get 66. You need you want at least you for 66% of the votes. Because I've seen this time and time again. And Connie, this the reason why I brought up the way I brought it up, because this is where we are sometimes when we call leadership. We put we put ourselves in a quagmire, Donna, because when we call people and select people. And this has nothing to do with you know, me. Right. Sometimes we don't look at the damage that this can do to a church and to a people's mindset. Yeah. Because now you got more people who literally not gonna leave for the most part, who's gonna stay, and they know that they outvoted the winner, whoever that might be. Mm -hmm. So it, it when you start thinking of candidates and running people. And selecting people, and we talking about recipes for leadership. I'm telling y'all, as as good as this looks, it's a disaster. This is a disaster. But we were a praying church. Yeah, I'm not saying Ephesians, but I'm talking about some of our sister churches. A lot of and, yeah, yeah, but see, this right here though. I have to admit that we were a praying church, and we were basically majority was on one. Right, right, majority. Yeah, we we can't get it. We can go through a lot. And, and this, this is the thing. We, we can't always, we, we have to be careful that we don't see see the church. Don't forget, we're supposed to be the call out ones. The husband tree, right? Uh huh. God's that, people. That we don't see the church and the church's makeup the way the world sees it. Right. Now, who voted for me is that people, for persons that are on milk. I'm a tour church. You know, it's not, it's not a, it's, it, in my opinion, it's not, it shouldn't be a gray matter. It's not a, it's not a black or white. It may be a gray matter. It's not a black or white. And, and we have to be careful because, you know, uh, you somebody may not have voted for nobody. Right. Yeah. I was born because I got here too late. But what I'm saying is, that's not to say because what we're looking at is not, that's what happens because we look at personality, y'all. Mm. Instead of looking at God's kingdom, this is a yes. spiritual thing. Mm. This, is not, this is not carnal. I don't know. I don't know how many of us realize that. But this, this is not. This is not carnal. And sometimes we have to be careful that we don't. We don't view it carnally. <laughs> and when we start counting votes, most of the time we're right. looking at it carnal. carnal. Mm -hmm. So this is this is all. Everything that we do, whatever we do, is done into the glory of God. Should be. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, yeah. Gotta but grow. Aren't, aren't that where, ain't that where we are? That's right. We're, where we, we're not where we want to be. That's we right. Get where they be. Yeah. We all are striving. Yeah. Pressing like toward. Are we pressing? Toward. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just brought that out, Deacon right as you as you move forward. And I'm trying to help some of our churches now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, based upon what Shirley just said, first of all, some of those individuals that are possibly in the leadership to call a pastor don't know Bible. Right. Yeah. Don't, know don't, know, don't know church. Don't, know. Mm -hmm. don't really have the, the ability to make a sound good decision. Mm -hmm. right? right? Right. I mean, come on, Bert. Right. Just yeah. babes yeah. in Christ. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we, do, we dealt with that in 1 Corinthians already. Ready. Right. So the, the mindset. So now, as we talk about a recipe for leadership, some of the things we need, but we need to figure out who this joke is right here. Uh -huh. yeah. I need to know. Why would you call? Because go to go to Hebrews. Let me show. Let me show you something in Hebrews. And this is something a lot of people just don't know. But this is what you don't have to learn. Hebrews thirteen. Donna. 
I think it's 13. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, is it 12 or 13? No, 13, 17. It's 13. Hebrews 13, 17. Never forget this. Your spiritual leadership has a responsibility that you might not even see yourself. Hebrews 13, 17. Is everybody there? And it reads what? Obey him to have a rule over you and submit yourself by being watched by your soul. Did you see that? Keep reading. They keep watch over your what? So, so and those who were given a talent, so they can do this with joy and not with grief. <laughs> but that would be unprofitable for you. I like that, everybody in your life. Mm -hmm. That needs to be highlighted and known. <laughs> Hebrews 13, 17. Got to know that. It's, 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 it's our. It's a grace given to the leader, mm -hmm. he or she or them, yeah. that they have to watch out for something you can't sometimes see yourself. Right. 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 Your own soul. Mm -hmm. How many are actually doing that? <laughs> yeah. I know one. We're striving. Yeah. <laughs> if we're just striving, this yeah. is what we are. Yeah, we're striving. we're striving. Some, some. They have to know it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have to be taught what they look yeah. for. You can't. I mean, you got to have a criteria, and if you don't know what it is, then you can't adhere to it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. And some standard got to be set, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Some standard has to be set. So this, when we talk about a recipe for leadership, who is a part? What makes him qualified to even yeah. be mentioned? Mentioned in all of this because this church was a famous church. An evangelist. He was a Jew. He was a Jew. He was an evangelist. He was a lot of evangelists. Think about it. He, 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 he. He was a Jew. He was an evangelist. I just put that up there. Jew, evangelist. What else? Who else got something down? He had many gifts. He was gifted. I we want spiritual leaders that had some type of gifting and quality, right? Yeah. Gotta have that. Yeah. Got to. Got to. Got to. I want. I want to. I want to be, I got to be fed. I got to be taught the word of God. Go to Jeremiah. Let me just do this. Jeremiah 315. Because Sister Jackson, one of, maybe somebody in our sister church might hit me up one day and say, how did y'all select the pastor? And you're going to tell them it was a process. Mm -hmm. Don't, you got to tell them, we got to tell these folks, quick, get in a hurry. Right. Because you can get select a clown. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sometimes people don't necessarily want anybody they can teach and lead. Sometimes you, sometimes see, oh. you want somebody that can act a fool. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you know, when you go to a circle, you see clowns, don't you? You just said, well, we're talking about karma, right? Yeah. So, 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 so now, Shirley, you bring up a wonderful point. In the event a church is really immature, right. at some point, they're going to need to know that. Right, daughter? Daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Right? If you're really immature, my grandmama said, you want a big budget? Why you want champagne? Okay. We're reaching for it. Yeah, uh -huh. Don't even go down the high. Many sheriffs to do is just fine, right? Blue's fun. That's all you need. Donald, don't be trying to get that the, 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 the top shelf. Because you're not there yet, mentally. What if I'm aiming for it? If I'm reaching if, for it, well, that's my aim. Get a step ladder. Yeah. <laughs> get, get a step through. <laughs> but 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 see, that's where I Jesse has to sit down and say, where are we as a congregation in our maturity? Right. Hmm? Because if we don't understand this and then go to Jeremiah three fifteen, everybody got that? Let's go to Jeremiah three fifteen and then we'll run this. These scriptural references, because we want to know the charge that God gives to the leader, then the expectation that we have of the leader, so then I can put a recipe together so that we can have a decent leadership team and a decent leadership base. Jeremiah 3.15 says what? That's the Old Testament. That's what he said, right? I will give you what? Shepherds. Shepherds. Yeah. 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 Who knows the heart of God other than Jesus? 
But we have the mind of Christ, right? Mind and heart can sometimes be interchangeable. Yeah. We understand that. Amen. Now, I, I got to show you this. I, I know Lorraine said, show me the antithesis of all this. Everybody preaches Ezekiel 37. Everybody preaches it. Oh, my God. Another dry bone sermon. I love it. Go ahead. Find Ezekiel 34. I know you love it. But find what kind of the questions that we never asked, even in BTU. Was what dried the bone? The bone. The bone. Shirley said, Lord, we never asked that question. Maybe y'all did, Deacon right, but I did. And for years, I never, I never even thought about what dried the bones up. Well, we know it would dry a bone up naturally. But look at Ezekiel 34. Look at Ezekiel 35. Did you see this? 34, yes, because you know. In the event I choose a leader that I like, that don't mean I need I, I'm gonna like them leading me. All right. Yes. All right. Huh? Yes. Yes. I like Shirley. I don't want her to lead me because I don't want to get I don't want to submit to Shirley. Okay. But then I elected her as my leader. Right. And remember, she has a different leaders can see it and see it before anybody else. Amen. Amen. That's why God gives the leader the leadership. He 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 or she gets it before anybody else gets it, even if we don't understand it. Right. So, what do we need, Lorraine? We're going to work on this today, y'all, because, like I said, we got some of our sister churches that's going to need some advice and kind of have been kind and honest. I said, go ask some other churches that have been in y'all's shoes. Because you need to understand this process is not easy. Mm. Hmm? And you mess up and get something you want. And not what God has given you to have. Right. You'll like it for a little while. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's right. We won't go to people and ask them. I say that's something. But we were saying it with each other. Did he say you you'll do devotion together. Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 34. We, we don't even try to read. Now, I know people on film, y'all ain't getting what we're getting, so y'all just got to bear with us. Somebody start reading Ezekiel 34. Just start reading. And just start hollering, ouch, the whole way through. Just read it louder, read it louder. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds. Against, against the who? The shepherds. It's about, to get, it. it's about to get ugly, y'all. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord, God unto the shepherds. Whoa, be, be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves, should not be shepherds fed the flocks. Mm. Right, Santa Mercy, Lord. Mm. Keep reading, keep reading. Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wood. Ye kill them, mm -hmm. they are fed. Yep. But ye fed not the flocks. Mm. Mm. The disease have ye, yeah, right. Uh, the disease have ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed, which was sick. You, you see that? Mm -hmm. Ain't it the criteria? Mm -hmm. Hold your finger there. And I know y'all flipping like that. Don't make it too no more. Luke 4 18. You're getting good, ain't Lorraine? Yeah. yeah. Just hold it. We're going to flip back because now I just got to understand the leadership has a responsibility and a role. That's right. And a church has to be mature enough to understand when I'm looking for leadership and people in leadership, I don't I don't choose them because I like them. Okay. There you go. Oh. There you go. That's why Yeah, I don't choose them because I like them. But I, but before I go to that point, I got to know how to control what I like and dislike. I don't know enough about myself because a lot of times we got it about what we like. Hey. Yeah. You know, we got about what we like and what we don't like. Should I put the we don't know how here? to control our emotions. That's why you need a whole gallon of ice cream when you know it's not good for you. Because you haven't put you haven't, haven't submitted to the appetite. <laughs> uh -huh. We we got to understand that some things that might taste good to you ain't yeah. good for you. All right. And we've got to grow. Yes, yes. Grow in grace. You know it's not good for you. 
Everything good for you? Everything good for you. Grass ain't always. It might be grass. It might be fake grass. Go over and lay in it for a while. Yeah, but it ain't good for you. You're a cow. You don't want no fake grass. So, so we first Luke four eighteen, then we'll go back to Ezekiel thirty four. What's Luke four eighteen say? The Spirit Luke of the Lord. 4, 18. Is it? It's written in red. So what, you know who said it? Jesus, Jesus said, said this. Jesus said it. The, the Spirit, Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's what? Because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Come on. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. Uh. The priest delivers to the captive. Come on. And recovering the sight of the blind. To set at liberty them which that are bruised. So now we understand the mandate on Jesus' life. And then when you go back to Ezekiel 34, that one verse, Karen, that you just read, look at the neglect. The neglect. Everybody say neglect. Neglect. Look at the, oh, I just will use the better word, negligence. Is that a better word, Donna? Look at the negligence. In verse chapter 34 of Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. hmm? Verse 4 says, The disease you have not strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick. Mm -hmm. Ain't that negligence? Yeah. Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Yeah. Ain't that negligence? Uh -huh. Everybody say negligence. Yeah. It is, Burgess. Neither. Look at all the neither. Just neither. go through. Yeah. Neither. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Have mercy. Somebody shout neither. neither. Neither have you sought that which was what? Lost. And here's the part, sad part. There's the word, but ain't it? <laughs> My Bible ties it What is that? Instead. Instead. Mm -hmm. But. Watch this. With what? And what? Cruelty. That's right. Johnny said, this happened. So now Johnny can say, all of my years will be to you. I'm still learning. Thank God for it. Mm -hmm. That's how we got to 37. Mm -hmm. Won't that dry something up real bad? Look, y'all. Mm -hmm. And they were scattered because there was no what? And they became meat mm -hmm. to all the who when they were scattered. Mm -hmm. Pastor, when you heard of, of some preachers get in the pulpit and bribe beat the members, <laughs> what? Bribe beat. That's old. Yeah. That's an old yeah. word. Bribe beat. Bribe beat. Chastise from the pulpit. Oh, yeah. They do that all the time. 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 Yeah. But 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 again, I know I know North State said, Pastor, where you going with all this? I mean, this is what we gotta understand. You're talking about a good leader. Yeah, we're about to put yeah. something together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Lorraine said, okay, pray nothing happened to me. Mm. But somebody gotta be mature enough and wise enough mm -hmm. to understand. Okay, we gotta get it together. We gotta we gotta look for what God wants, not what right. we want. Well, yeah. right. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Because you can put somebody in a position, mm -hmm. and God didn't anoint that person for that. All right. huh? That just on me. That's Look any out. position in church. Right. Huh? Any position. Huh? Any position. Anybody. Any position. Any position. Mm -hmm. I, Lorraine, she's marvelous. Y'all, let's put her over the usher room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like people. Right. <laughs> she, she, that. That's not a fit, but I'm just gonna say we love Lorraine. She mm -hmm. makes the best usher. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what they <laughs> What is that? <laughs> but, so so Burgess, <laughs> we about to get here, but we just had to do all this to show mm -hmm. people that when there's a, a lot of neglect from leaders, mm -hmm. this is the consequence. Mm -hmm. mm. I ain't picking on no church right. around here, yeah, but you know it yeah. kind of at some point we got to have a discussion about what has happened close to us that it don't happen to us. Right, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? You you want to put some safeguards in place 
to understand, like I, I maybe said, you can't grab people. Yeah. You can yeah. you can have make children mine. Okay. So you can yeah. forget it with yeah. adults. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So now, Connie, we see from Ezekiel 34 a recipe for bad leadership, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know now we need to figure out who a policy is. So let's go there. First Corinthians 1 12. Y'all learning something today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. I'm serious. Huh? <laughs> I will. I will. I don't mind. But if you see another church that, that seems to be drowning, I hope that if you see me drowning and you got a life, you got a life jacket or a float or something, you throw it to me. I'm just yep. going to say it. Yep. Say it. Well, they may not hear it, but you, you need to put it out there because so many of them, so many of them. Lost. Mm -hmm. Carnal. And if you're not carnal, you're natural. And remember, the natural mind cannot receive the things of God. I don't care, Renata. I don't care what I say to you on Sunday. If your mindset ain't spiritual, woo, it's going to be tough. Not on me. Not anymore. Because I'm going to do what I got to do. But at some point, you got to take ownership of your growth and maturity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to. That's why you come to Bible studies and Sunday schools and you get caught up in the Sunday school lesson. It's like when we get into second P, first and second Peter, that's coming up, right? I don't know how we're going to have church after them lessons. Because mm -hmm. y'all know, we already know enough about Peter, don't we? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The cutter and the cuss. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he will cut you and cuss at you. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, girl, listen to me, daughter. He would cut you when Jesus was standing right next to him. <laughs> so Peter was who? You hear me? <laughs> so you don't want, you, you don't want to miss this lesson. If Jesus can save me with my a knife in my pocket, <laughs> that's it. And some of us, it ain't so much the knife in our pocket. I'm gonna help me. It's the sword in our mouth. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. This one has left a deeper cut. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Death and life are in the power. Yeah. You can't take it back. Yeah. So, so no. you can say it, but what does it matter now? Yeah. 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 Now, you're right, Renata. Even when you apologize, the hurt is too hurtful okay. for me to hear what you said because I heard what you said first, right. Right. not what you said last. Right. Right. Now you meant it. In that moment, you missed it. You still mean it. And James said, how can bitter and salt water, so fresh water come out of the same mound, right? You got to understand it. So that's right. So I have to learn to tame my tongue. And when Isaiah got saved, he touched his tongue, right? He said, I hold, I hang around people. Yeah. He had to be a couple. I mean, and he said, I said, I hung around these folks. And remember, Grandma Mama said, You are the company you keep. That's what she said. Birds of a feather. You ain't. Yeah. Right. So, 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 <laughs> yeah. recipe for leadership. You ready, sis? Because remember, you want to find a church, not so much this. You just so much like. Mm. Yeah. Because you can stop liking. Yeah. Why do you oh, like it, though? Do you like it because you're being entertained, or do you like yeah. it because you're learning? Yeah. Right. Right. Like. Yeah. I, I, I like. Yeah. And I'm not knocking. The young lady, one of the young ladies I visited, she came up Sunday and said, Oh my God, I just like this church. Mm -hmm. I was like, she's about 16, Connie, so I'm high five and up. I said, well, that's good. You like it. But one Sunday, you ain't going to like it. Yeah. That's what I mean myself. Yeah, you yeah, might you not like it, it next week. Right. Yeah, yeah. They ain't like it. Right. Yeah. Next week. You right. might not like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I encourage her to come back. She was like, I just like this. Well, what you, I should have thought, what did you like about it? You know, yeah, but yeah. didn't have time, but don't get caught up in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's right. true. Mm -hmm. right. And now you have to your life. What? They satisfy something in you that they love. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. 
So here it is. At, no, first Corinthians 1 and 12. Let's see. Donna, what's your point? She's like, this is good. This is good. And this is something people got to be taught, though. And, and I mean, it's just something we just going to have to learn. Yeah. Just slow down and show people. When you put people in leadership, they have, they have a greater responsibility, first to God, oh, God. then to you. Right. And it's greater than you liking them. Right. Yeah, right. This, is an, this is an assignment for them. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is an assignment. This is an assignment. So 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12, Apollos' name is first mentioned. Mm -hmm. Who is this Apollos fella? What, what comes out of this verse? Is that it? Oh, let me turn. Let me turn there. Go ahead. Y'all, somebody can read it. What I'm saying is this. One of you says I belong to Paul, mm -hmm. or I belong to Apollos, okay? or I belong to Caesar, or I belong to Christ. That's it. So Apollos was one of the four personalities mentioned, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thought Christ was last. Because we always put, we never put it first. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> we never put it first. Be honest. Donna, Jesus is one of the last people we fell in love with. Okay. If we have a, and remember, I'm learning this kind of, as the Lord has rebuked me on several occasions. He says, love is something you would never meant to fall in. Mm. You're yeah. supposed to walk in it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's been whooping me for the last two years. He said, yeah. Would you stop saying that to him? Yeah. I fell in love, Pastor. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. You fell in Instead of walking in. Next time when the power get up. Yeah. <laughs> get up, you ain't in love no more. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah, we, we, you fell in, but when you got up, <laughs> you hated that you failed in. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. That's right. You fail. Hold your finger there. I just said, Pastor, make that point spiritual. Hold your finger there. Go to Ephesians chapter 5. Oh, we'll get back. That's why I tell people there's no substitute for what we're doing today. Okay. There's no substitute. The learning, what God shares with you while you're reading it, what you're getting, what you're gaining, and then you say, you and your girlfriend go be sitting there. Happy I'm talking about you just fell in love with you got that girl. Don't fall. <laughs> say, it's your last season to fall in love. Okay. Don't fall in it. Walk in it. First it's Ephesians chapter five. Is it verse eight? Walk in love. The verse. Oh, it's walk in love. That's it. Ephesians five and two, right? Two. What are we supposed to do? Walk in love, right? Not fall in it. I done, I done fell in it so many times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it bumped my leg. Yeah. That's right. Listen. They didn't have love if they fallen in it so many times. That's right. To use Mother Turner's situation and illustration in this moment, she said she fell the other day and couldn't get up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be careful what you fall in right. and where you fall. Because right. you're going to. Huh? You might have to stay there longer than you intended to. Anybody other than me? Huh? Fouling in me. Fouling again. I'm coming. I'm my back on hard. I done fell on hard time. Seems like you on hard time boulevard. Yeah. You on hard time avenue. Every time I see you, bird, this is a hard time. What? So at some point, there's a discipline issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm fast. I'm back on hard time. What you back on hard time? Where'd you get off of? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen the change since the last time. Right or wrong? Right. And hey, you get to have these conversations with our adult children and nieces and nephews mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Hey, baby, where are you go? What? What is? What is it? All right. X personality. First Corinthians one twelve. Um, the next one was the one we have read, read. Then, did you say four? Verse four. Three. three. Yes, three four. And twenty-two. First Corinthians three, yep. three twenty-two. Is that three, it? Yep. What does it say about Apollos there? He, 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 had, he had enough personality. He said whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death 
Go back to 21. Therefore, let no man glory in what? Men. I'll say it again. That's a good place to stop right there. Uh -huh. Therefore, let no man You say glory in who? Men. Whether me, Paul, or Paulus, or Cephas, or the world, or life, Amen. Amen. Now, Renetta, I'm about to say something. I, boldly or slowly, I like the word death. Mm. Not to pick on, you know, because we still grieve it. Oh. No, no, look. Death. You see that? Mm -hmm. Don't. Because some people are still in love with some dead folks. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. 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 And can't move. And I just said, fast, I can just show up. I ain't got to. It's not making nobody a preacher or a teacher. <laughs> Baby. Don't get so wrapped up in a person that when they go, you can't function. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Huh? They're not good. They're not that. Kanye, I'm going to say it. Not, not situations. You know, we're still grieving. But right. Right. some churches still hanging on okay. to some pictures on the wall. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And they need to understand that you are not supposed to glorify men. Amen. Well, the, it's funny how some Baptist folk treat the dead pastor better than they did when he was living. <laughs> huh? But it's what it said. So I, I, I'm learning, right? That as I'm learning about leadership, Apollos must have been a good, definitely a good person. To be grouped with Paul, to be mentioned with Peter, mm -hmm. to be a leader of the church. So there's something that he had, some some type of personality possessed something that made him a good for leadership. Mm -hmm. And I gotta be very mindful when I choose my leader because I'm choosing somebody that I know is gonna be a representation of God in my life. Right, 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 right. 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 Okay. Not I like him. Yep. Or like her. Mm -hmm. This is a good fit. Yeah. Yeah. What is a fit? <laughs> what are you trying to fit? <laughs> you a size 12 church. <laughs> and the leader you trying to elect got a size 7 foot. Okay. Mm. Ain't gonna fit. Huh? Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> And I didn't know this until I learned it. My grandmother said, boy, tie your shoes up or they'll run over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm from the country, baby. I'm from deep from the south. Huh? They said, she said, if you don't tie them up, now they'll run over. Not trip over. This southern. This is old school. Right. So, Renata, now, now. I mean, this magnanimous revelation come to me. Don, I hope you're still watching. For weeks, you know, we was kids. We didn't tie shoes up. Mm -hmm. So when I went to put my foot in them, y'all yes, ain't saying nothing. All right. They were crooked. There you go. They were crooked over. That's right. It holds you. Right. So not only is my shoe now, it is, Deacon Brown. I'm about done. Not only is my shoe defective, but my foot. I have injured my foot because I didn't give strength and support to my foot. And it was just doing this all day. Leaning on. And some of our churches. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not picking. And see, Burgess, 
Burgess, a lot of our problem is we can't teach people nothing. They don't want to learn nothing. And then if we send a Roger Burgess up there, she ain't a man. She ain't she ain't a pastor. But she got the intelligence to help you get over your hurdle. But you so been out of shape. Don't see. Don't see. Don't see. Don't see. And you have to go to that though. That comes some spiritual maturity with that. You can learn. I learned from a drunk. Don't get like that. I don't, because I don't know the way they walk, taking them home every day. Uh, that's right. Had a, a, can't call his name. I mean, I won't call his name. He used to get lit. We used to pick him up. Walk him to the house. You know, then we got into it ourselves, but we don't want to be like this. We don't want to be like this. But County, when you do not properly assess a situation, and you do, I'm going to just put back my shoe, you do not tie things up where they need to be tied, you're going to run something over. Mm -hmm. And the last thing you want to run over, y'all, is your mind. Huh? And it's easy to run your mind over. To flood it with the wrong thing. As a man thinking, so is he. So here it is. We almost done. I'm serious. And it's not me. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. So who's that knocking on the door? Sam. Sam trying to get back in. We listen. We still are here. We got one, two, three verses. When y'all think of Apollos now. Shirley said he had personality. Y'all said he was an evangelist. He was a Jew. Somebody said he, he was gifted. If we're looking for somebody in spiritual leadership, based upon all the, the passages that we read, Ezekiel, what do you need a picture of, Donna? You cook enough. A picture of what? Wisdom. Everybody shout wisdom. wisdom. That's good. All right. What you want to paint to? What else you want to accompany his wisdom with? His or her? Knowledge. knowledge. And remember, they are different, right? Yes. Yes. Wisdom ain't knowledge. Knowledge ain't, knowledge ain't wisdom, but, see, but somewhere they do, they do they coincide, huh? They coincide. You want something, some understanding. Lorraine, I need some understanding. Ooh, that's good. Huh? Thank you with patience. Compassion. Jesus had compassion on him, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Like you said, I mean, you can't keep browbeating people. Mm -hmm. And I know one of our pastors that you know we used to truly enjoy listening to. I don't know we what, what what's happening with his emotional intelligence. Let mm -hmm. me just say it that way. Like you can't get up angry. Right. You can't yeah. get up beat up for. Right. right. I can't. I mean, yeah. you know, I've been beat up all week, y'all. <laughs> So we want some patience, we want some compassion, we want some understanding, knowledge, wisdom, amen. Turn to Acts chapter, what is it, Acts chapter 6. Is this happening y'all today? Amen. Yeah, and you know, like I said, I know our sister's over here. We're battling through some grief, uh, losing a loved one, losing spouses. Then I don't understand what that feels like some people do. Uh, but the Bible says, be careful how much you worship a dead man. Okay. Mm. And I know some churches now, Burgess, I'm talking about if they if that dead pastor could come up the, out the grave every, every Sunday, they, that what they will pray for. Mm. Been dead years. Years. And that keeps you stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, you really worse to me than Lot's wife. At least she turned. That's the question, Shirley. Where is he? He in the closet, and, and, and you hold him up in the closet in the back. You left him at the cross. You, oh, oh, you left him. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every week. Then get deep. Acts chapter 6. We close. The, the spiritual qualifications for deacons. The spiritual qualifications for the evangelists. The first evangelists of the church. He said, choose you seven men among you. Mm-hmm. And like I said, we have to finish this next week, I promise you. Because we done got into something now. And it takes time. 
Acts 6. I'm in Acts 6, right? Yeah. yeah. Verse what? Yeah. If you, this is what you're looking for. Verse 3. Men of honest report, right? Mm -hmm. Full of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And what? Let, 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 let's not forget that. Okay. Let me say this, Perry. Miss Perry. Just because you shout don't mean you got good sense. <laughs> right, because <laughs> right, because every time Mandy win a cup buzzer beat, I shout. <laughs> Tennessee, I shout. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee Titans, yeah, I, I shout. shout. When Alabama lose, I shout. I, 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 I knew you was coming. I do. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Ain't, ain't no spirit in that either. For that. Yeah, I, 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 but. But 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 these are some of the qualifications, and I believe Brother Apollos Array had some of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not because he had a doctorate degree. All right. Not because he went to the best school. Mm. Hmm? And who did he hang on that? That's it. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, because you choose to, you put a fox in the hen house. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Put a fox in the hen house. And that's what is happening. So I don't want our churches and some of our family members who are going through this trying to find leaders to get so caught up in their flesh mm. and want something they want. Because they talk about we want this. What you mean you want? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. My <laughs> right, my grandmama said, baby, I used to put all that spaghetti on my plate. <laughs> but she said, it right, don't let your eyesight be worse. <laughs> yeah. You gotta fall asleep and get sick. That's the only way you getting up from the table. Eat it, eat it up. Yeah. 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 Go back to First Corinthians. Where we at? Three. Three. Verse seven, eight, nine. Where we were. Six. Where I'm, I don't know. I mean, I just know we're walking through some things to understand who Apollos is, where he shows up in the Bible, what contribution did he make to the church. And I just it gets interesting. Like you said, I want somebody I like. Eh, nah, you don't. Mm. You want somebody you can follow and respect. Mm. Right. There you go. Huh? Right. There you respect. Go. It's, hard. it's hard for you. That's what I was molested by a pastor. Oh, 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 o